Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back. Um, now we're going to be doing our math lesson for this week. Now, boys and girls, today for our math lesson, we are just going to be going back and reviewing the different strategies that we use to add or subtract. Um, in your packet, you have an anchor chart that looks like this, and it shows you several of the different ways that we learn in class of how to add or subtract. The first one being um, using place value, right? 456, 400 plus 50 plus 6 minus, because we're subtracting, 200 plus 30 plus 2, which make up the number 232. You subtract 400 from 200, that's 250 from 30, that's 20, and 6 from 2, that's 4. You put them together, that gives you the number 224. We also did um, subtraction using our um, picture. And you guys are going to be more comfortable with this one because I know many of you um, like you see the picture a lot. And then during um, online learning, we learn how to subtract using algorithm, okay, which is our new way of subtracting. Okay, which is this way right here, okay, where we regroup. Now, another way is... Um, by um, which this is kind of the similar, the similar way of where we're doing, but we're doing the regrouping here within. And then we also learn how to do adding or subtraction using a number line. Today we're going to be practicing these methods so that we can um, uh, add or subtract. And you're going to actually have three questions to do with a window pane. And I will let you know which ones you do. So it's going to be very important for you to listen to our lesson today. So let me stop right now so I can share my board and we can get started with our lesson today. Okay, boys and girls, I am back. Let me. So I am back and I really want you to look on page. We're gonna be doing together page 64, which looks like this. Okay, and we're gonna be doing two addition problems that are on the bottom. And I'm gonna review with you the different ways that you can solve for doing these problems. So the first one on the bottom of page 54, remember this is the ones we're doing together. These are not problems that you're going to turn into. So we're both doing page 54. And I'm going to get started. So we have 192 plus 587 equals my answer. <clears throat> okay. So the first one that you can solve um, this problem, we are going to do uh, place value. Okay, so, and let's do the number line first, okay? I know some of you had a harder time with the number line, and that's okay. You can do it fine. If not, you can always go back and use a picture. You can always go back and use the algorithm, or you can always go back and use um, any of the other methods that you know how to use. So when we add, we have to start with the biggest number because that's the easiest um that we have so we're going to go ahead and start with 587 which is this number okay and we're going to add 100 that's going to give us 687 because this we're going to add one more to this hundred that makes it 687 and then mm, let's try to make this a, a pretty number or let's mm, Let's go ahead and add, we added that. Now we have to add nine tens. So mm, let's do one ten. That makes it 697. Two tens, that makes it 707. And let's make, that's two tens, but we need nine tens. So let's make that, let's add 50. So that's five, six, seven tens. We need two more. And then we do one ten, 767. One more ten, 777. So we're done with this. 
and now we need two ones. So that gives me a total of 779. Okay, that's one way you can show me how to make um, how to add this number. Now another way that you can do is by using the expanded forms of the numbers. So we have this number. What we do is we that is the same as 100 plus 90 plus 2. And we're going to add it to 500 plus 80 plus 7. You add the hundreds, that's 600. You add the tens, that's 90 plus 80. Well, a 10, if you add a 10 here, that gives you 100. And that's 70 left there. And then you have 2 and 7, that gives you 9. So we have a number. Oh, we have two hundreds here. So it's 700 plus 70 plus nine, which gives us a total again of 779. Okay, so this is the first way, the number line, or you can also solve it this way. Okay, now let's um, go to, okay, so now, I'm gonna take these off and I'm gonna show you the, the um, new way that you guys learn how to add three digit numbers. Remember we have our hundreds, our tens, our ones. Seven ones plus two ones give me nine ones. Nine tens plus eight tens. One of these tens give me make a hundred here which gives us 17 so we made a special hundred and we move it over here and we have we're left with seven tens there so then we have five hundreds plus one hundred plus one hundred is seven hundred that's seven hundred seventy one that's another way you can do it. another way is by doing one hundred one two three four five nine and two one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Seven and two, give me nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give, make a hundred. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tens left. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Give me the answer of 700. Yeah, that's a different way you can do it. Okay. You can choose whichever way you feel comfortable to solve the problems for today. Okay. Now, the next one that I'm going to do, it's still on page 54. But it's this problem. It's 269 plus 658. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started with this problem. Okay, um, I'm going to start off with the number line problem. Remember, when we add, we add or subtract, we always start with the biggest number, which is 658. And we're adding, so we're actually going to jump that way because when we move down the number line this way the numbers are getting bigger so we have 658 on the number line we're going to add 200 so we do 100 makes it 758 another 100 makes it 858 now six tens okay now we can add four tens plus 40 Oh, actually, we're going to add five, 50, five tens, which is 50, and make it 908. And then we're going to add one more 10 and make it 918. So that takes care of that. Plus nine. We're going to add two first to make it 920. That's only two. I need seven more. 
that's 927. So my answer is 927. That's one way to solve it. The other way to solve it is doing the expanded form way. 200 plus 60 plus 9, 600 plus 50 plus 8. You add that, 800. You add the tens, that's 60 plus 50. If you get 110 to this one, you get 100, and you have 110 left over, 9, and that gives you 10 plus 7. Okay, 17. So we want to have 10, so 10 plus 7. So here we add the hundreds, it's 900, the tens, 20, and then the 7, which is a number 927. That's the proof. Okay, that's the other way to do it. Okay, now let me show you the other two ways that you can choose to do this which is 658 plus 269. This is the algorithm way. Eight ones plus nine ones give you 17 ones, but that made a special 10. We put it up here in a circle. Five tens plus six tens is 11 tens plus one more makes 12 tens. We didn't have 12 tens. We made a special 100. 6 hundreds plus 200 plus 100 gives you 700. 6, 7, oh, sorry. Nope. 6 plus 2 is 8 plus 1 more gives me 9. So my answer is 927. Same answer as the other way. Okay. And finally, you can do pictures. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you have two hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you put them together. Eight. These together make a special 10, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, ones left. Oh, we have too many here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That make a special 100. And we have two tens left over. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 900, that gives me 927. That's my answer. For that. Okay, I've showed you two ways of adding these numbers. Okay, now I want to work with you in subtraction one because you're going to be needing the, um, needing to know how to do subtraction for any problem. Okay, this is a review of subtraction. So I chose this problem to work for you for subtraction. 662 minus 237 equals my answer. Okay, so I'm going to do the number line way. You start with the bigger number. Now, since it's subtracting, we're going to move this because the number is going to get smaller. So I'm going to start with the biggest number minus 200. So I'm going to go back 100. 200, that makes it 262, 162, right here. Okay, now I'm going to go back 30. I can do minus 30 or 10, 10, and 10. That gives me 132. Now I have to go back 7. I'm going to go back 2, that's 130. And 5, that's 125. So my answer is 125. Number line way. Okay. Now let's go ahead and try the expanded form way. 362 minus 237 equals my answer. That is 300 plus 60 plus 2, that's that number, minus 200 plus 30 plus 7, that's the expanded form of 237. 
subtract that, that's 100. Subtract that, that's 30. And then we have two minus seven. Wait a minute, you can't take away seven from two. Hmm. So let's borrow a 10 and make this a 12. So 12 minus seven is huh. So here, instead of having 30, 60 minus 30, now we have 50 minus 30, which is 20. Because we borrowed 110, went into the ones to make sure that we had enough to subtract it. So our answer is 127, which is the same answer as we got up here. Okay? Now, let's go ahead and do our algorithm one. 362 minus 237 equals. Remember our HTO, two ones minus seven ones, not enough ones, three group, three group. Hey, Mr. Six tens, can we borrow a 10? Sure, but six turns into a five and this two turns into a 12. 12 minus seven is five. 12 ones minus seven ones is five. Five tens minus three tens is two. Three hundreds minus two hundreds is one. The answer is 125. Now you can also choose to do this with pictures. 362 take away two tens. I'm sorry, 200, take away three tens, take away seven. There's not enough, so we have to regroup one of these. Turns into 10. Now we can take away seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're left with five ones, two tens, and 100. Our answer is 125. Okay, either way you choose to do it, friends, you always get the same answer. And you might even want to try different ways that way to see if you get the right answer. And if it's not, okay, so what is your assignment going to be for today, for this week? You have two pages in your math um, notebook. Okay, let me share those with you. Sorry. Okay, so you are going to be doing, this is the page that I did, page 54. This is the one I did on the board for you, plus an additional subtraction problem. But the ones you are going to do tonight are up here. You have two pages. Two pages. You're going to do page 55 and you're going to do page 57. 55 y 57. Now, on page 55, let me show you what you're going to do. On page 55, you can solve this problem any of the ways that I showed you today or you know how to solve it. This one the same, but I need to see work. You can't just put the answer. I need to see your work. If you only put an answer, I am going to send your work back home to you so you can redo it. Now, this one is 562 plus 399. You have to show me how to do that two different ways, okay? So that one has the space there. Notice, no window pane on this one because they're not word problems. Now here we have a word problem. 519 adults are at a fair. 369 children are at the fair. How many people are in the fair in all? Think about what kind of problem this is, okay? So make sure on this one, there's a big star here. That means window pane on that one on a separate sheet of paper. 
and you can solve it any way that you want. Any of the four different ways that I showed you today, okay? Then on page 57, you're gonna do window pane on number three, window pane on number four. So three questions are gonna have window panes this week on a separate paper. Number three says, April has 365 stickers. She gives 238 stickers to Gwen. How many stickers does April have left? Okay, make sure you show me your four steps. You can solve it however you want. Number four, a group of birds have 362 seeds. Some seeds fell to the ground. Now the birds have 237 seeds. How many seeds fell? Again, show me your four steps and another sheet of paper and make sure I see the work. On this one, Ricky added up to the number nine and found 535 minus 315 is equal to 210. Is this work correct? I want you to see this work and tell me, yes, it's correct because blah, 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 or no, it's not correct because blah, 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 okay? Now, on this one, number six, show one way to find this 560 minus 340 on the open number line, write the difference and explain your work. So pretty much you're doing 560 minus 340 any way that you know how to do it. Okay, I know it says number line here. If you know how to do it on the number line, go ahead and do it on the number line. But if you don't, guys, just show it any of the ways that we learned. Okay, if you can't remember the different ways, again, we have this paper chart that helps you. And always go back and look at my lessons for your work. Remember, you're gonna take a picture of page 57 and 58. Plus your work that you do, window pane work that you do on another sheet of paper. Got it? All righty, guys. Hope you do good on your math lesson for this week. And I hope you guys um, remember adding and subtracting. See you in a little bit for your science lesson.